Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the cabinet meeting that was held remotely. Following the session, the Cabinet Secretary General Yasser bin Isa Al Nasr gave the following statement. The cabinet hailed the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the government's measures taken upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to ensure the safety of citizens and residents and support those affected by the coronavirus, as well as the measures taken to reduce financial, economic and social COVID-19 repercussions. The cabinet reviewed the positive impact of 14 initiatives included in the 4.3 billion Bahraini dinar stimulus package and other support programs to address the current situation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the government's keenness on continuing efforts to alleviate the impact of the pandemic at various levels and he instructed ministries and government institutions to submit a follow-up report on the implementation of the initiatives and directives. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated journalists and media personnel on Bahraini Journalism Day and hailed their efforts and achievements in defending the interests of the country and the gains of its people. He affirmed the support of the government to Bahraini journalism and its empowerment of journalists and media personnel to perform their professional role. In implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, the Minister of Interior presented a report on National Ambulance. As part of the economic stimulus package launched by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Cabinet decided to postpone the due housing service installments to the Iskan Bank for six months starting from April of this year. The Council also decided to stop collecting rent from tenants and beneficiaries of the shop owners by the Iskan Bank for a period of three months starting April 2020. The Cabinet approved an agreement on civil aviation between the governments of Bahrain and Italy aimed at bolstering cooperation between the two countries and facilitate the establishment and activation of aviation services. The Cabinet discussed a proposal to separate the construction project's budget from that of the Ministry of Education and to include it in the budget of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning. The Cabinet referred to the Representatives' Council a draft law concerning the public budget adding a new clause to Article 6 of Decree Law No. 39 of the year 2002. The Cabinet referred to the Representatives' Council a draft law amending some of the provisions of Decree Law 10 for the year 1976 concerning housing. The Cabinet approved a proposal submitted by the Representatives' Council not to oblige the Electricity and Water Authority to provide credit information centers benefit with customer information. The Cabinet approved a proposal on the construction of a maternity hospital in Rufa'a. The Cabinet reviewed a proposal to expropriate a land and convert it into a park in Isa Town. In response to a proposal submitted by the Representatives Council, the Cabinet directed to the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning to regulate the import and selling of the uh, Conocarpus plant. Representing His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa participated in the virtual summit of the non-aligned movement, the NAM, which the President of Azerbaijan and Chairman of the current NAM session, Ilham Aliyev, called for. The summit was held with the participation of the NAM member states under the slogan United or Uniting Against COVID-19. The summit is an affirmation of uh, the member states' commitment to the principles of the United Nations and the non-allied movement uh, that are based on maintaining international security and stability as well as facing the dangers that threaten world countries, including the coronavirus, along with its economic and social repercussions. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak delivered a speech during the summit affirming Bahrain's commitment to the principles of the movement and its participation in all its activities as well as its support to all its causes. 
Your Excellency, President Elham Aliyev, President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Chairman of the Online Summit of the Non-Aligned Movement, Your Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is my great pleasure to participate in this important conference, having the honor to represent His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of the Kingdom of Bahrain. I want to start by conveying the thanks and appreciation of His Majesty the King to His Excellency Ilham Aliyev for convening this extraordinary summit along with His Majesty's regards to the participating heads of delegation wishing this meeting every success in its important task. This online summit takes place under extremely challenging global circumstances, unprecedented in our modern history. Due to the spread of the new coronavirus, COVID-19, and its human, economic, and social damage, which will affect every country and people in the world. This international challenge underlines the importance of efforts to discuss, consult, and cooperate on the regional and international response to this pandemic in order to reduce its impact and effects on all humanity. The Kingdom of Bahrain is participating today, underlining its support for the goals of the non-aligned movement and reaffirms Bahrain's respect for the movement's contribution to the international peace and security. Further, the movement's work to achieve progress, development, and stability are fully in line with the kingdom own beliefs, values, and international commitment. Since joining the non aligned movement in 1972, the Kingdom of Bahrain has made clear its support by enhancing its role and contribution to the movement's activities and work. This support is based on the great strides Bahrain has made and continue to make in areas such sustainable development, di dialogue among civilization and culture, combating terrorism and promoting coexistence, fraternity and solidarity of all humanity. Your Excellency distinguished participant at this very outset of the coronavirus outbreak, the Kingdom of Bahrain recognized the risk the pandemic presents both regionally and internationally. Under the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the, the Kingdom has therefore taken pioneering and proactive efforts to confront the pandemic through its precautionary and preventive measures, Bahrain has been able to contain the pandemic by efficient contact tracing the isolation of cases in well-equipped quarantine centers and intensifying awareness campaign on prevention measures, all of which have contributed to controlling the pandemic and reduce its spread <laughs> and, its, and its impact. The efforts made by Team Bahrain, 
the various sectors of local society and volunteers of all specialities have played a key role in responding to the pandemic transparently and effectively while providing free and comprehensive medical care to the citizen and residents alike. These measures have been recognized internationally by both the World Health Organization and by many countries around the world. They build upon the Kingdom of Bahrain's experiences in health, human development, and rapid respect. And through this summit, Bahrain underlined its readiness to share these experiences with other. In addition to these health measures, Bahrain has also undertaken substantial steps to support its national economy and mitigate the economic and social impact of the pandemic. To this end, it has launched a generous financial stimulus package, paying private sector employees for three months and paying utility fees for the same period in addition to exempting companies from various fees and loans, to restructuring cooperation with banks and financial institutions. Your Excellency, distinguished guest, the Non-Allied Movement was founded in the midst of the Cold War, when the world was threatened by untold global destruction among the movement's objective was to avoid this fate and to maintain international security and peace. At today's summit, the movement stands together in the face of the common enemy, pandemic, which threats us all and which has created distance not only between states and nations, but among members of the same family. A pandemic which has affected people's life and livelihood across the world and abruptly halted what used to be an open, interconnected global village. Since its establishment, the non-aligned movement cooperation has achieved numerous successes, and it has presented pioneering and creative initiatives for the good of the humanity. As we meet today for a noble humanitarian goal, the Kingdom of Bahrain calls for the movement to build on these achievements by working toward the following recommendation. One, developing a proactive global strategy to monitor epidemics in order to fully pre prepare and quickly respond to them in the future. Promoting scientific research centers for peaceful purposes in the collective international framework of transparency and clarity. Assisting developing states in building and developing their infrastructure, particularly in health and education, in order to better defend themselves against epidemics and infectious diseases, while also helping to provide food and medicine to countries in need of such assistance. Supporting the World Health Organization and its efforts to fulfill its role to serve all mankind. Excellency, distinguished participants, in closing, may I renew the Kingdom of Bahrain thanks to Your Excellency, Mr. President, for your invitation to this summit and underline our deepest respect and appreciation for the extraordinary efforts and great sacrifices of the national and international front 
line medical staff fighting the pandemic with the help of God and through our joint cooperation. Bahrain is confident that we will overcome this crisis and its far-reaching consequences. May I therefore reaffirm the Kingdom of Bahrain's support to the Nanalai movement and our determination to work together with the member states for benefit of all. Thank you and peace, peace be upon you. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and President of and president also of uh, the president of the Olympic Committee and president of the Tijaba Coordination Execution and Follow-up Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the committee's weekly meeting that was held remotely. The committee members participated in uh, the meeting along with the head of the uh, Parliamentary Youth and Sports Committee at the Representatives Council, Abdullah Dusiri, and the acting director of the Legislation and Official Gazette Directorate, Consultant Sultan Suedi. His Highness Sheikh Khaled affirmed that developing law and regulations has a positive impact that is reflected on keeping up on variables witnessed in the youth and sports field in accordance with the aspirations of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and National Security Advisor, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to create an optimal atmosphere for the youth and sports sector. His Highness Sheikh Khaled discussed with the officials the sports professionalism law and the mechanism of its implementation and directed to develop studies and or perceptions through which new laws can be enacted.